Hi everyone, welcome you all in this video lecture. Today we are going to understand the concepts of finite automata with output. In earlier videos we discussed the simple finite automata or also called binary finite automata in which either machine accept or reject. That is the reason we call those automata is binary automata. So here two variant of finite automata with output. One is millimodal and another is Moody model. If uh, you are giving some input, then it will generate output also. So first we will understand the concepts of millimodal, then Moody model. So millimodal says output of the function depends on the present state and present input. But in Moody model or Moody machine, output function depends on present state only or we can say that this is independent of current input. So this is the basic definition or basic understanding of Milli and Moore machine. Now we will define formal definition of these two models. As we have defined finite state machine by five tuples, here we have one extra tuples or in other words, this model are defined by six tuples. Q represents set of states or finite set of states. This is the finite set of input alphabets. And this is the extra tuple which is called output alphabet. You are having several input alphabets and it will generate some output alphabet. This is the transition mapping function and this is the output function and this is the initial state. There is no role of final state but in finite state machine without output we have seen several final state exist. In those cases if machine halt on final state then we understand the particular string or particular language is accepted by the machine. So here there is no any final state. Now we will define output function in details. Machine, we know that output function depends on the states as well as inputs. So this is defined states taking some input and it is generating some output. So this is for milli machine and in Moore machine we know output depends on the present state only. So this function is defined by you are on a particular state and it is generating some output. Now we will understand these two models using some examples. Here we have two states q0 and q1. After reading some symbol 0 it is producing output here. On reading 0 it is going to the same state q0 and after reading 1 it is producing output 0 and going to q1 state. It means that output of this model is depend on the state as well as input. So this model is known as milli model or milli machine. Mure machine look like this. So you are having two states Q0 and Q1 and you can see here output of the Q0 state is 0 and output of the Q1 state is 1. So after reading 1 it is going to the same state and it will produce output 0 and after reading 0 it is going to q1 state and so on. Now we will convert this two state diagram into transition table. So here present state ps is representing present state q0 and q1 ns is representing next state. So this is the milli model so we have to design the table like this format. So for input A is equal to 0, there are states and some outputs and for input A is equal to 1, we have some states and some outputs. So if you are on a Q0 state, after reading symbol 0, it is going to the Q0 state, so we have written here and producing output 1, so we have written here and for input 1, Q0 is going to Q1 state and producing output 0. So we have written Q1 and 0. 
similarly for q1 state after reading symbol 0 it is going to q0 state and producing output 1 so we have written q0 and 1 and for input 1 it is on the same state q1 and producing output 0 so q1 and 0 now we will see transition table for Murray model this is the present state and this is the next state for various input and finally we have output so you know that the output of q0 is 0 and output of q1 state is 1 so you can directly write here 0 and 1 now for input a is equal to 0 q0 is going to q1 state so we have written here q1 and for input 1 it is going to the same state q0 that is the reason we have written here q0 and similarly for q1 for input 0 is it is going to the same state q1 and for 1 it is going to q0 state so q1 and q0 is written like this so this is the way to represent Milli and Mure model by transition diagram and transition table so hope you understand basic understanding of these two models in coming video lecture we will understand the concepts of how we convert from one model to another model thank you so much